Well, you want to start with a pitcher that's very cold and milk that's very cold. And you don't want the espresso to wait very long for the milk. It oxidizes quickly, so you want to start pouring the milk almost immediately when the espresso is done. Um, you'll start with your pitcher. You want to pour in just the right amount of milk, just enough for the cup that you're going to be pouring. And you'll start with a steam wand right in the center, just a little bit below the surface. And when you turn that steam wand on, you want to hear this sound. Tss, 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 tss. I tried to get somebody else in the studio to do sound effects for me. But, but he's holding a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing, there's two phases of, of um, texturizing your milk. The first is the stretching phase. So you're just sort of stretching the surface so slowly. And as soon as the milk reaches about 80 degrees, which would be room temperature, as soon as you feel the chill leave, you want to submerge the steam wand into the milk, and you want to get like a whirling effect. You want to see the milk spinning, and you're incorporating all that velvety texture into the milk. And... Um, as soon as it gets too hot to touch, which would be about 150 degrees, no more than 160, turn the steam wand off while it's still in the milk. Take the pitcher down, and if there's any bubbles, which there shouldn't be if you've steamed perfect milk, you just want to you want to bang it on the table a little bit and swirl it out, and then you're ready to pour. When you're ready to pour, you'll you'll pour into one spot, right into the cup. You want to pour slowly and without moving into one spot, and when you get about halfway full you'll start to rock your wrist back and forth. You don't want to move your whole hand or your whole arm, but you'll rock your wrist back and forth and make with the milk what looks like sound waves. And they'll start large, and as you get to the other side of the cup, they'll get a little smaller. When you get to the other side of the cup, you just gently sweep back up through the center of that design, and you'll create what we call a rosetta.